Proverbs chapter 31, verse 28 says, Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Earlier this week, I shared a little bit about my wife and who she is and how she is, more importantly. And I am a preacher who actually believes that there are times when you have to have other people to come onto your pulpit and share God's Word. For the past two Mother's Days, I've had my wife come up to help me share. Now, some of you may be sitting there going, oh my goodness, a woman spoke in church. And I'm going to tell you right now, yes, a woman spoke in church. She spoke because she was able to share from a mom's and a wife's point of view, which I cannot do. And at the end of the day, we had so many women who came up and said, I never even thought about it or looked at it that way. And the reason they couldn't look at it that way is because it was usually me or some other man preacher that was getting up and sharing. But at the end of the day, women have been blessed to look at things in a different light. And there are times when my wife will share something with my kids that I could have never shared. And I embrace that. I tell them all the time, this is what you're looking for because in Proverbs 31, this is what you are looking for in a lady. And guys, if you love your wives, if you think that she is so special, you should be sharing your, that with your kids and telling them every single day she'll live in just such a way that you'll just be like, oh, find someone just like her. Because she is someone who lives her faith. It is evident in her life, and it starts with her heart, and then it reaches out to those that she has around her. He gives us an outline of who she could be in chapter 31. I know it's such an unbelievable thing to try to live up to, and we can't be perfect when it comes to it, but we can rest in God and His guidance to become more like her. Ladies, I hope that you embrace that, and we'll talk more tomorrow.